still trying to reorganize things around my apartment. I got this white three-tiered shelf um, that I am going to use to store my everyday makeup. I've just been doing my makeup around my dining room area. My makeup and stuff is always just piling up on the table, so I thought it'd be cool to just get a cart that I can move around and like tuck away really easily when I need to, and that anytime I film, I can just put all of my necessities into this cart, and it'll just make things so much easier, I think. I just want to get things in order and um, move some furniture around and see how I like it too. Just switch things up a bit. I like and you like, so we like. Turned out pretty nice. It's way taller than I had expected. Now we're the same, but different. No, it ain't a problem. Yes, I'm glad we could talk. Thought that we'd be busy, we ain't busy at all. Much love to everyone for kisses and plans. Feeling superstitious about a beautiful thing. Crazy as it seems, it seems that you feel the same. Way too many thoughts that dance around in my brain. So I'll wrap my arms around you like you're all there. Yeah. I'm watching a video on how to do that duvet cover hack. I wanted a super flumpy, flumpy? <laughs> I wanted a super fluffy comforter. This one I just got off of Amazon. It's not as fluffy as I was hoping it to be. I realized the comforter that I had before was actually one that I took from my aunt and that was for a full size bed. So not even for a queen size bed. So this one fits the duvet cover way better. I ordered a jute rug and it's finally here and I'm so excited to set it up. I've been wanting a jute rug for the longest time. I think they're just super pretty and I love that braided woven texture to it. The rug that I have now is from Ruggable if you guys remember and I loved it when I got it. It was like the exact rug that I wanted in the design and the dark color and everything but I think, I don't know, it's just... Out, I've, I've kind of just outgrown it I guess <laughs> like I still love it but I think in this space I want more light and more airiness to it and the dark rug against the dark hardwood floors it just kind of it's a little too much Does this rug make you nervous? Do you like it? What's up? I think I stressed him out moving all my furniture around. I don't think I shared on the vlog that I finally got a coffee table. I got this a while ago. This is the one from Target. I also pushed the couch off of the wall a little bit. It used to be right up against the wall and it really opened up the space. It just makes the room a lot more airy than what it was before and I've still Never figured out what I wanted to do with this wall. It's been like almost two years. It's, it's fine. 
I feel like my apartment started off like a tiny bit industrial-ish like I wanted that city vibe inside but then it kind of veered towards like a more boho-ish look I guess I flip-flop a lot between liking boho and not liking boho so it's like a really fine line before it gets a little too like kitschy at least for me this is all of my personal opinion okay please don't take any of this personally it's just like how I feel and then I had a phase of where I was really into like 80s retro decor but i will tell you the 80s retro vibes furniture is very expensive and they're all very funky <laughs> in a good way and they're hard to find so they're pretty up there in, in terms of price so it was definitely a little bit out of my budget and now i think i want to go for that classic minimal ish because i'm not a minimalist um <laughs> at all parisian look and i think correct me if i'm wrong that has elements of like natural textures but also you get the the classicness of it from glass and hardware like gold and you can find a lot of that while thrifting so i'm gonna try and aim for that aesthetic as much as i can and i've never even done any of these styles to the fullest because i just end up switching it right away like what i like so i'm hoping this style will stick for a while i would love to find like a glass coffee table or like a glass dining table that would be like travertine tables are so beautiful and I've been seeing them everywhere they're so pricey though and am I still looking for a new apartment um yes and no like I'm definitely still considering that but it's just been really busy like I haven't even had a chance to be on a consistent filming schedule recently so it's still an option um just not top priority like top of the list right now just got back from the grocery store for my mailbox did a little unboxing on my stories and then called my mom because i had to talk to her about some things i'm just gonna cook some dinner now i'm making this soy sauce shrimp with rice and probably just like a little salad <laughs> I thought this box of matches was really cute and I just love the butterflies and moths on it and I don't know if you can tell but on the matchstick area there's glitter on them and I just want to leave these in the bathroom for you know when you gotta clear the smells or whatever honestly I just wanted this for my oatmeal in the morning so I could like stir things <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I'll use it for other things too. I love the vertical striping on it. I think it just adds a really nice touch. I always thought these looked so cool and chic if I just took the top off and put some flowers in there. It did come with a little cork topper, but I took it off just because I felt like it wasn't that clean and it was like deteriorating anyway. Then I got these little containers from Daiso because I want to organize my lip color drawer. If you remember from my last vlog, I was using rubber bands to keep everything together. This is how I've organized them so far. I have room to fit one more box in here, but I only got four of these, so I'm going to have to get more next time I go back. I've organized these just by brands for now so that they can look more organized rather than by shade. I have another section that's organized by shades, um, and then I have another one of these empty drawers, so I might do lip colors in there as well because I have all of this still. <laughs> I went to the flower market this morning and picked up some things. I got my hands on some pompous grass and I finally figured out where I wanted to put it. I got some chamomile flowers. I think they would just look really cute in one of the vases that I got the other day. And some baby's breath. I think baby's breath are just so pretty. And then these fluffy, I think they're called rabbit tails or something like that. I'm just really excited to have these around the apartment. Oh 
these yet throughout the apartment. Here's the pompous grass. I read online that the little strands are going to fall and become more fluffy. It does shed a lot even after I hairsprayed it. Over the moon, really wanted to get these shelves because a lot of this product was sitting on this corner right here and I really wanted to clear this space because it just kept piling up higher and higher and higher and when I blow dry my hair or curl my hair here everything just falls off the counter. I have some crest white strips on right now so if I have a lisp that's why. This is pretty much cleansers, toners, some serums, moisturizers, and sunblocks. And these are the products that I use the most. And then I put the eye creams over here. And then up here are products that were also pretty much just sitting on the counter. I took a few serums out because I just want to be able to see it so that I know what I would need to try or want to try. I debated getting longer shelves or even more shelf racks, but I think this is a good amount. I already feel a tiny bit overwhelmed by this. There used to be like an art print here, but I took it down. It was just kind of taking up space and not really doing much. I just feel so much better. I'm gonna wipe this down right now. For some reason, Cody's gone scared of the clicking on my vlogging camera. So every time I start vlogging, he gets really antsy and I don't know why. So I'm trying to train him right now to not be afraid of the clicking sound of the camera by associating it with the sound of his treats and then giving him a treat. Oh my God, look at <laughs> You're so silly. He heard me turn the camera on. Cody's bed is actually right here. It used to just be somewhere in the room, but he kept howling at night for like a period of time. So I put him next to my bed so I could just tell him to stop right away or like pat him to calm him down. There are times where I'm sleeping on this side and I'm facing this way and I'll just open my eyes and he'll be staring straight at me. Oh my gosh, it's creeped me out like a couple times. Two large black eyes looking at me. I wanted to show you what I ended up doing with the rest of my apartment. There's so much lint on the sweater. I've already tried to lint roll it, but it's just pilling. There's nothing I can do about it. So let's, let's just not talk about it. So the pompous grass hasn't really fluffed out or like deflated. I still think it's really cute. This comforter, I actually really love it. I don't know what it is, but Waking up with this comforter is so nice. It actually is, is fluffy. And then this rug, I really thought I was going to put it in storage, but I was like, why not put it in here? I used to have that white plush one in here, but Cody actually threw up on it one time and it was like grainy and chunky. So I just had to get rid of it because I couldn't stomach cleaning it up. It was just too gross. I actually really love it in here. I do need to get another rug pad though because this is really slippery and slidey um, because I left this rug pad for the living room. So I left the chamomile flowers here. I put the baby's breath here. I don't know if you've seen the sunset lamps. I've been seeing it everywhere. I ordered one and I want to put it right here. I think it would look really cool at night with this archway light thing then stepping out we have this corner so this mirror used to be like right here but it was kind of obtrusive because it would lean and stick out a little bit so now this space is pretty clear this is where the bookshelf used to be i didn't take any before shots so i'll just link my old apartment tour if you want to see what it used to look like I feel like if this was a bigger mirror, it would just look better, but I'm not going to replace this. <laughs> I've had this mirror for years. I ended up putting the rabbit tails in 
the whiskey decanter and just stuck it in this corner for now. Then I have this little plant corner here. I don't know, it just feels a little crowded. It breaks up like the mirror from the TV and when I watch TV, it's nice to have a little greenery on the side. But I do feel like I'm breaking some sort of design law here or something or interior design rule then we have all of the things on my little tv stand i love this corner so much so i ended up putting the dried um, baby's breath in this jar i think it just matched way better like the color scheme and then i put a few rabbit's tails into this little vase that i have here this one i got from ikea and I've been looking for something to put in this vase for so long. I have my pink Himalayan salt. This is a crystal that Yoandri got me and this just feels like a really soothing corner, especially at night when the salt lamp is on. It's just really cute. This Hannah got me and I just have some other crystals in here. I feel like they're not supposed to sit together like that, but I don't really know where else, what else to do with it. Oh, I got these strips to hide the wires that were coming from the TV, and it just looks so much cleaner. I love it. It was so easy to install too. They're just like long stickers. This is the incense holder that I got from Goodies. This thing is so small. When I first lit the incense, it just fell everywhere. So I put it on this other dish. This is actually the bottom of a pot planter thing that I'm not using right now. I don't know if I showed you the entire rug and couch thing, but here it is. And here is the bookshelf. I cleaned it up a little bit, so I stacked the books instead of having them sit vertically. So this I just put there for now. I want to get another speaker here to play music on or something. I've also been wanting to find like the perfect vintage typewriter to go in there. I think that'd be so cute. I've been wanting one for forever. I'm going to show you my dining room, but it's kind of a mess right now. <laughs> So this is the room divider that my brother helped me make. I have a call in about an hour and I think they wanted to see some of my filming setups. I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I film pretty much all of my videos in my dining room area. And if you've seen my other videos, then you probably already know, like I usually set up this backdrop and get this lighting. It looks really nice, right? So I guess that was my little updated apartment tour. I didn't mean for it to be. Thank you for watching this vlog and for supporting. Like, it means so much to me. I'm gonna end the vlog here and I will see you in my next one.